Hi, this is Teresa from AgLeader. In this video, we will cover how to create a quantimeter yield monitor configuration for your Kloss Lexion Combine on either your AgLeader Integra or Versa display. All setup and calibration is completed on the Cebus display, and that information is communicated via the bridge module to the AgLeader display. The AgLeader display has its own setup procedure to complete, and to be successful, the settings in the AgLeader display must match what was used in the Cebus display. To create the configuration, we need to be on the home screen and press the wrench. From Configuration Setup, press the green plus to add a new configuration. We are creating a configuration for yield monitoring, so choose Harvest as the type. The first step is to press the green plus to add a vehicle. We need to specify the make and model of the combine, and in this example, we are using a Lexion 780. Once you have your combine selected, press Next. At the Yield Monitor Type screen, select whether the combine is using AgLeader Yield Monitor components or the Quantimeter system. We want to select Quantimeter and press Next. You can edit the combine name or accept the default name by pressing the green checkmark. Next, the display asks for combine offsets. You could enter these now or add them at a later time. For now, we'll press Next to continue. Now we must add a header for this combine configuration. Press the green plus and select either a platform, row head, or pickup head. Then press Next. Enter the full swath width of your platform header. It is important to note that the header width must match within 3 tenths of a meter in the Cebus and AgLeader displays, or else the run screen will not load. Press the green check mark and then Next to finish setting up the header. For speed source, the primary source will be Display GPS, and the backup source should say Kloss Bridge. Press Next. Lastly, acknowledge the combine configuration by pressing the green check mark. It is also important to note that the crop type must match in the Cebus and the AgLeader display. Corn is Cebus crop type number two, beans are three, and wheat is one. You can view which crop type is selected in the Cebus display by pressing the display diagnostics icon, then selecting Kloss Bridge Module from the CAN-A list and pressing the diagnostics button in the bottom corner. Here you will find the current crop type number and the header width that were entered into the Cebus display among other information. Remember that all calibration for your quantimeter system must be completed in the Cebus display. Now you will be able to set up your AgLeader display to use the Kloss Quantimeter Yield Monitor. For more information on the quantimeter interface, please refer to your AgLeader display manual. If you'd like to see more short tutorials from AgLeader, please subscribe to our channel.